Hello, Justin. Uh, this will be some video feedback on your Milestone 1. Now, I noticed that um, Amber had pointed out that she wasn't able to see the images, and that's the difference between being um, embedded, embedding your images and linking to them. And so I'll, but here's the good news. Um, you can open up a PDF in Illustrator, and that's what I've done. So um, let's go to that. And I see, whoops, that's... Uh, Alex Hardy's. But even when I open uh, the PDFs uh, in Illustrator, I'm getting <coughs> um, this error message which says that the files are linked and not embedded. Well, let me just click through these uh, and maybe um, have a quick lesson in embedding images. All right, so here is your file and it looks good. Uh, Justin, I see that you've got layers for everything. Might want to, you know, label your layers. It's easy to label them. Uh, for, for example, this, I think that's, is that the logo? You can just, uh, double click on it, highlight it. Um, it's a good habit, I think. Now, if you've linked to an image, there'll be an X through it. Okay. If you want to place an image, here's how you do it. You go up under, uh, file, sorry. Object. Nope, nope, nope. That's not it either. Sorry, it's uh, been a long day. It's file and place. You just barely see it off here to the side there. <clears throat> um, fish around for your, I mean, you can place just about anything. Uh, GIF, here's, here's, for example, your PDF. I could even place that. Um, but let me make, let me, let me not do that. Let me, uh, find something that is more, uh, image like here. Here's a, no, that's PSD2. Hmm. I want to find a JPEG. Here's a GIF. I mean, that will probably work. Um, <clears throat> make sure that it's not, oops. Let me try that again. I clicked over the most important part. Right, so file, place. I'm going to use that GIF image. <clears throat> Here's the important thing. Make sure that this is not clicked. It's such a little thing, but if I, if this is selected, then it's going to link it and not embed it. Okay. So make sure that it's not, um, now the difference here is also that the uh, image doesn't have an X to it. That way, you know that it is embedded. Okay. And you can scale it uh, up or down just as you would any other kind of image. Um, this is a previous student's image, uh, her web banner, actually, image for it. So you get the idea. Uh, so don't link, make sure you embed. Okay, so now we got the technical stuff um, out of the way. Let me uh, go on to the design. Now your promo is um, sort of socially positive, I think. And I like the juxtaposition. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, 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 yeah, it's it's kind of jarring in a way to see this luxurious uh, bathroom or uh, spa interior, peaceful lotus, and this uh, pile of groceries. You know, brand name groceries. And actually, that's the first thing that sticks out to me is the uh, the brand name. So, I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, let's let me go on to the the design. I like the silhouette uh, against the flatness of the the, du the duotone like quality of your uh, image. Um, it, it is a little bit jarring though, and I don't know how to resolve that. You know, it, it, you don't want to want, you don't want there to be a let them eat cake attitude. Okay. I guess that's what I'm getting at. Typographically, uh, be careful about running types so close to the edge and think about vertical axes that you can find to organize uh, your type on. So in other words, I see a vertical axis here. You know, you might be able to shift the photo over a little bit so that this post or whatever it is, uh, it, it is an implied line along the left side here. And then you could hang the typography off to the left. Type doesn't have to be that big. Um, and I think the silhouettes of the groceries could be a bit smaller too. Um, you might want to explain in some detail your promotion. Um, maybe to to ease the jarring juxtaposition okay 
But anyway, um, I like that you bled images. Uh, your silhouette is very competent and it makes the ad three dimensional. You know, it makes it less flat. Flat can be very elegant though, too. So, uh, don't, <clears throat> don't, uh, don't dismiss it. And uh, <clears throat> the choice of color in the background is good too. Um, the color adjustments in your image, of course, were excellent and <clears throat> sort of bow towards the, um, corporate palette. Um, without the silhouette, this would be a fine ad too, but I realize that your promotion is significant. Um, and some way of marrying the two is important though. Okay. That's enough for now, Justin, and uh, good going. Good progress.